Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 50. It is the 29th of May 2020. Happy birthday to my mum. And I am Ryan, the GM. What the fuck? Yeah, right. Here are <laughs> the players. Too. Oh, wow. That's why Twinsies. I was <laughs> what the hell? Wait, Sean, is it your birthday today? It's my mum's. Oh, right. Man, yeah. is it everyone's mum's birthday? Is that <laughs> no. the day mums were born? Yes, this is this is mum's day. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ. Yeah, snap. Snap. <laughs> Brother from another mother. <laughs> this is where we find out that it's the same mum. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> were you out in my back garden two moments ago as well? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds so wrong. So, how dare you? Um, anyway, uh, as I said, I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half-elf druid. <clears throat> I'm Sean. I play Bastiel, the warforged cleric. Hi, I'm Mum, and it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and you can cry if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, well, Ryan, who am I today? I can, I'm getting confused. Your um, I'm Scott. I'm playing a crumbar. Who is a half crumbar paladin? <laughs> I'm Sophie. I play Caitlin Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Well, if anything, you got her to laugh this week. So I know. I I I almost made her. Or, or F four. I'm happy. F for respect. Um, right. Who remembers what happened last time? Well, crumbar upset a child. Mm. Um, I, yeah, no way around that. I can totally <laughs> traumatize that little boy. Just witnesses in my place. <laughs> yeah. I also love that the librarian didn't give two shits. <laughs> he scolded the kid like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, he should have been in the library, right? Um, that's how it works. Do you remember the librarian's name? Not as a Drekka. <laughs> Something with the name. Smith. <laughs> it was, something like that. It was, um... Drawn Lolly or something. Don Drabella. Whitstone. Whit okay, I'm not that far yep. away. And it was something to do with writing. Yeah, it was like, Whitstone was like the perfect random adjunct name for a lorekeeper of dwarves, right? But, you know what's funny is I've put down the master lorekeeper in Forge, but I've not actually put down their name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Don Drabella. Whitstone. <laughs> there you it's have like it. a it does a bit, doesn't it? Um, I'm sure her name is somewhere. It is. I'll just I'll copy paste it from further up the chat. So there's that, and then I'll also just copy paste her image again. Let me just bam, bam. There she was. Um, yes. So, what else? Just remember, besides traumatizing children, that seems to be the. I guess overarching story really for this game. We're gonna try and get her to join us on our journey. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she's badass as fuck. Well, I just it's only take stock of the people you've met on this journey so far, right? Every NPC you've ever met, and the one you just like is like the kind of doddering grandmother librarian lady. Um, it's a fucking badass dwarf. I like that. Of all the people, are like, yep, she's the one. She can stay. In, she can come with us. There's a formula somewhere for this, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't like her because she knows about dragons. I mean, that's also fair. I would like her if I was a player in this game because anything about dragons is bitching. So, yeah. Uh, anything else? Um, the king's still to decide if he's going to help us out or not. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're waiting on a, uh, you know, thing from him. I pissed off Sophie, Kitty, Sunday, last night, last week. <laughs> what is time and people? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, and, who and when am I? Um, yeah, like Crumbar did, he, he kept offering up Kitty's secrets, quite frankly. Um Without conferring with me first. Mm -hmm. But in my defense, I completely forgot that they were like forbidden me crap. I mean, yeah, in, in your defense, Crumbar isn't the brightest bulb in the box. Yes, 
crumb bar isn't bright. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or perhaps yes. even in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, put it mildly there. Um, yeah, that's, I'm that's being all polite. Yeah. Please um, don't demonetize us. Please don't. Yes. <laughs> Happy reviews, please, everyone. Happy reviews. Um, we. Can you bleep out the swearing. No, I, I bleep out nothing. There's no editing done. <laughs> Um, oh, you're definitely getting money tax. <laughs> God, I would hate to see the amount of editing you would have to do on me alone. Honestly, it would just be a game without you, to be honest. It's just. Yeah, um, pretty much would be. Uh, your mic on your goes to a different outlet that doesn't get recorded. <laughs> <laughs> It'd literally just be white noise. You wouldn't, it wouldn't be a constant beep, beep, because that would annoy everyone. It'd yeah. just be. <laughs> or it would be like just elevator music. <laughs> so this one, this isn't actually even the real game and like the real one's held on Saturday. This isn't just to entertain me now. Yeah, this is just to keep Crap, Scott he's on to us. Yep. Mm -hmm. As long as he doesn't find the secret YouTube channel, we're good. Um, <laughs> speaking of everyone else, like and subscribe to secret YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> Don't be fooled, it might look the exact same link as the one to this one, yes. but it's actually a secret one. <laughs> Secretly <laughs> similar. Totally not, your eyes are deceiving you. <laughs> Um, Secret YouTube channel, now with 100% less crumb bar. Anything else uh, that you remember from last time? Uh, the king's got an appetite, we learned that. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was still, I'm still confused over the whole, come grow my plants for me. And uncomfortable chairs. Like, the mm. fuck? He just wants to be able to well, he wants to be self-sustainable without having to go above ground is basically what he's getting at. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Which is reasonable, right? It's not, yeah. I, I want to be better than every other person, I just want to immediately feed my people, right? I mean, considering to get to the outside, you've got to go through that awful, oh, yeah, dark sure. elf riddled, yeah. Yeah. You think they'd have built a sort of back door into I the, would, you know. Let's hope there is another door, by the way. That's, yeah. that's, that's the idea of us coming here is to find that other door and go through it. <laughs> well, the hope was that there will be a back door so that why you come here because it's on the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I um, have to go all the way back to Anvil would suck. Um, or ask him to use his teleporter to go back to the Golden City and just start again. Right? Just yeah. pick, pick up the quest fresh. What? what like the entire <laughs> campaign again? Uh, no, because that started uh, not like much closer than the Golden Citadel from here. So, Golden Citadel is like down here, right, mm -hmm. on the map, and the campaign started like in there, in those woods. Hmm. Hmm. And I totally. I'm now just thinking of worse I totally ideas. Totally forgot where, where we are right now, but oh well. Uh, user here. Oh. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Okay, no no wish idea a sheer funniness. Restart the entire world. Yeah, I'll just go no. back to page one notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, sorry, Shan, apparently then. Um We'll see you in a year, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> it just got in as well. It's like bye. Come by wish to start again. Um <laughs> Yeah, we could start again in this formation and at these levels, you know. And yeah, go pick them up, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. I mean, uh, we know where he is, right? It's when you just say, Gil, we've got this. Just you step back. Yeah. <laughs> All of you turn into dragons instead. Um, oh my god, yeah. Although, could you give us a more direct line to your dad? So, you know, if anything happens to you. Yeah, like his phone number or something. Like his yeah. pager, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, I. Uh, yeah, so anything else of importance from last session are we caught up? I think that was pretty much it. Hmm? What were you saying, Sean, is there anything else from last week that was important uh, or is that was caught up? Uh, yeah, um, we got Dondrabella's diary. Yes. Did she, did she hand it to us or was she just showing it to us? Uh, no, she literally just opened it. Um, okay. Okay. And sat down with it, and then yeah. mentioned that the Winter King is a female. That was it. <laughs> dun dun dun. That was the. All end. right. Yeah. That's me. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I don't really think there was anything else specifically of super importance um, mentioned, other than you guys touch chatting to the king, and as Scott mentioned, he's not giving an answer yet. He's 
going to wait until tonight to answer it. Mm -hmm. I still need to bully him about the vampire thing as well. Yeah, that's so phrasing. Um, goals. Let's have a, a wee nosy at them, shall we? Yeah, it's a good time to talk about that then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, currently, our goals sit as find the white dragon, investigate who or what the mistress of the flame is, Arya and Bastille to trade languages, get the dwarves to help the citadel, and find out who the vampire is. Any additions, changes, alterations? <coughs> nope. No, we sort that out by the end, right? I... Right, I brought that the chat, that thing about um, continuing the vampire questline with the uh, hell not knights. What? Sorry, man, can you repeat any of that? Because it didn't really come through for me. Yeah, it didn't really make sense. Um, sorry, okay. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> really I just went from, like, quiet to loud to quiet to loud. I think it's just because he was mostly talking to himself to remember what he'd done and then click um... on the chat and scroll up to read what he'd typed. <laughs> oh, right. Possibly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I, fo I followed his mental journey, don't worry. <laughs> so... Well, somebody had to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so by the end of last session, we, like... We kind of cemented those goals in place, right? And I put afterwards in the chat, because I forgot to bring it up, that we could continue the vampire thing by pursuing the Hellblades instead of looking for like a really unrealistic, like surprise ancient elf type thing. So I think we're pretty much poised to continue all of the Yeah, goals. because that's what that uh, Dwarfy McFace and Cage was. I like the fact that the idea of a surprise ancient elf is like, the news to them when you tell them. By the way, you're ancient. What? Oh my god! This is the one we need, guys. This is him. <laughs> Can you read this? Yes. Then you're ancient. What? <laughs> this reminds me of that, you know, moment that I mentioned to you guys last you know, week. That's fake. Oh, that that moment <laughs> in Pride and Prejudice, where where Pastor Collins goes to Mister Darcy and says, "I've made a discovery. You are." The nephew of Lady Catherine de Burgh, and he just Spoilers. gives a dead pan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's like going to that person and kind of like figuring yeah. out they could read this. They were like, "You are ancient," and they'd be like, "You think?" Yeah, yeah the utter shock. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so what was the thoughts behind that then, um, Bastille? If you want to take us through that. Um. Well, it's like every all of the girls are like super in reach, right? I mean, so I feel like... Rich, do you want to comment on that? <laughs> <laughs> the, rule with... oh. the answers are within you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, no, we don't have any goals that are completely intangible. We could work on any one of them right away. Oh, yeah, no, I think so. Yeah, I actually think every single one of those goals is um, pursuable, except I would say completable. No, right now. Oh uh, yeah, but definitely pursuable. Yeah, I'm really happy with them. Yeah, anybody else want to make any changes? We're good as is. So you don't want to bring up the, you want to like reword the vampire thing by, like hell bleeding it up. Uh, I don't know. So what do you guys think? Do you guys want to? You guys still want to do that? You seemed a bit cold on it when when the whole ancient elf thing came up. Well, they they stuck, kind of tied together. So yeah, um. I'm I'm totally cool with finding out uh, um, someone that like basically someone that can translate that stony thing for us. Yeah. Okay. Look into the Hellblades. Yeah. Sweet. Um, what I'll do then is I shall. So how do you want to uh, phrase that? Because look into the Hellblades isn't really a goal. Um, what is it you want to learn from looking into the Hellblades? So that that Graveslayer guy knew about the ritual already, so they the know Hellblade what guy knew about the ritual. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. A word. Uh, Graveslayer is your word. Use. I don't say <laughs> use Hellblade to hunt down vampires. But <laughs> basically that, right? 
work with Hellblade to hunt down Vampire? There it is. The non-sociopath way. <laughs> Use the Hellblades. Something something Ryan give us XP. Wield the Hellblades. I mean, I've designed this to give you XP, right? That's what this is for. This is the XP generator. <laughs> okay, then let's say what we actually literally want to do then, like, right? So, I think we want Win to Win the game! The no, too, big, too broad. Cool. Oh, join the Hellblades. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hi, I mean, who knows what the entry requirements are? Maybe it's kill one of the Hellblades to join. <laughs> Be a dwarf. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they're like witches. Okay. <laughs> so... Um, it's not quite save the life of one, it's remove the life of one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, seek Hellblade assistant with hunting vampire assistance. I would maybe drop the last assistance, yes. But I think everything else up, up to that was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Feel free to pop that in then. Anything else mm -hmm. to come up before we get started then, or are we good? Mm, I'm pretty sure we're good. Good, good. Good, good, good. I, yeah, I'll let him update this first before we move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it we actually finished? What was the scene we finished on last week? I, I, we literally just had that conversation, just before the Hellblade conversation. Okay. She opened the diary and said the Winter King yes, was a uh, yes, yes, female. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. yep. Yes. Yep. Because yep, she spent time yep. tracking dragons, so because she's a baller, and the front cover was all these like kind of brass dial things, and she like old style telephone dialed all three of them as they all worked together, and then unlocked the diary. I went kathunk. She opened it. She's like, see. And she said something about the Winter King, and how she was something something something. Then you'll see. You'll avoid catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Classic perfect Simpsons. How are you getting on there, Shan? Uh, it's, it's in there, right? But if I hit enter, will it refresh for you yeah. guys? Cool. Yeah, perfect. I yep. guess that's, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Works. Stick. Excellent. So now we cut to darkness. Ah! And mm -hmm. through the darkness we see some shapes moving. And there's a fairly big like caravan of um, dwarven traders coming through what clearly looks like the Undermarch. And, you know, they're marching along. All their um, kind of mountain ponies have, like, their eyes all covered as well, as if they're, like, being trained to be used to the dark. And they're all Unlike pulled ours. In Yeah. And they're, um, you know, Dwarves are just like, they don't really talk to each other, they're mostly quiet and whatnot. A bunch of them have some axes and some, you know, some swords and stuff, like, and they're marching alongside the... It's a fairly well defended thing, it's almost like they're, they're quite well used to this, it's clearly one of the more common, like, trading caravans. There's a bunch of mining equipment, like, attached to, like, the sides of the carts and stuff that we can see because we have audience vision. Um, and, um... Clearly, they're used to having to travel through like caved-in areas and stuff like that. Um, and then, as I said, we see some some figures up in the kind of the raised edges of the like in the, the cave walls, and we recognise them to be dark elves, right? And uh, you see them getting ready to like line up crossbow shots and like draw blades that have that slight green tint to it, because you know they do poison damage, and um, <laughs> We see uh, one of the, the dark elves' eyes, their kind of violet eyes in the dark, like slowly narrow, and it does that thing where like their finger goes to almost like tighten on the, the trigger. And you hear like one of the dwarves like just 
I say here, you see one of the dwarves just stop and put his hand up in the caravan, slowly grinds to a halt, and he kind of like narrows his eyes and looks up to the walls of the cavern. And then uh, we cut back to like where the dark elves are hiding, up in the corner. And uh, it lets go of the trigger. I am. Um, and like make sure the rest of the, the dark elves like start to get into like position with their their kind of blades all drawn bit of tension in the music of course and then uh, the dwarf just shakes his head and then uh, does the motion to like move the caravan on again so the the whips crack and the horses uh, or the, the kind of mountain ponies like shuffle on again and the creaks of the wheels go forward and then the crossbow shot gets lined up again and then we see the shot of the eyes narrow and then all of a sudden go wide and roll back in the head and the camera pans oh. down and there's a big black spear sticking through its chest oh, and then shit. it gets smacked against the kind of cave wall um, and then there is just a all out piece of chaos as all the dark elves up on the, the kind of ridge all end up fighting this figure that seems to be moving super fast um, and we just see the after effects of them being like slammed against rocks with like big kind of pierced, you know, chest cavities. And uh, then obviously the dwarves are like shuffling around, grabbing weapons and making a lot more noise. And they all run off and like take up kind of defensive positions and stuff. And there's tension and there's almost like, you know, the, the quiet tension of the, the trenches that way where there's nothing for ages. And then we just fade out on that. And we go into. That guy is making his way around. Don Drabella's smiling face as she's looking up eagerly at whoever is actively around her stone table in the kind of master library in Forge. Mm. And she's like, What is it you would like to know about dragons? Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she just told us. We're, this is us reacting to when she told us that the white was a female, right? So Yes, the Winter King is a female. Mm -hmm. And she says it so casually, like everybody knows it. Hmm. We need to find the way to try and persuade the Red to fight in the war down south. There's a war down south. And she just yeah. points to the floor and just looks at you confused. <laughs> She's lost it. Maybe up south, but it's definitely south. And she kind of like, you know, rubs her hand over her chin and she's like, hmm. You should probably tell the king there's a war. He would want to know this. We have. Good. <laughs> and she kind of like nods with like a, a finger on her lip. Like, Good. And that's it. Like she's kind of just nodding her head now. Hmm. All right. In contemplation. Uh, sure. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll assume that she's having like. Uh, the first thing we need to know is where thing. is the way, or how to find the way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And if there's any way to anything that they that she particularly likes that we could perhaps bring as a Ice gift cream, or a boon or whatever carrots. to like make her more liable to like us and us help us. She just looks up at these all and she's like That was a lot to take in. <laughs> First thing is where is the weight? <laughs> yeah. Who's at war? Uh, our world versus the demon world. She kind of like, she like closes up her lip, like almost resolutely and nods, like, ah, of course, who else would it be? Right? Like, that's the type of response you're getting. Like, mm -hmm. Of course. And then uh, she's like, what? And she starts like flicking through the, the big tome in front of her as you hear the crinkle of the paper, and uh, or the parchment, I should say. And she's like, she was like maybe halfway in and she's like yeah so the white lives alone 
Oh, great. And she's looking up Lake. Does the White have a palace or where she lives alone in? No, no. She's like two seconds and then she like scurries through another couple of pages and then goes back a couple because she's as if she's overshot. And she turns the book like round as if going to offer it to like you to read, but she doesn't ever push it. She just starts reading upside down. And then, uh, she's like, yeah, it's here. And she just points to, like a passage upside down. And then she says, this, uh, this part is when I was traveling and it was cold because it was up north. And she points like a random direction in the library. And then she says, which I guess assumedly could be north. Um, and she's like, the. So the Winter King likes to just let things happen. She doesn't step in because she kind of gave up fighting people long ago. It's not really her thing. She, um. I mean, that's if you believe the songs. How did the song go? And she starts, like, biting on, like, one of her knuckles. She's just trying to remember really hard. And she's like, doesn't matter. The song was probably bullshit anyway. But the, um. <laughs> yeah. So, because of that, she went up north. She built herself a big castle. And that's where she lives. Hence why she's called the Winter King. Men folk obviously think because she's a big powerful dragon she must be a man. So obviously Winter King must be a man. Big dragon. Obviously couldn't be a woman. Just mm. kind of nods Tried. at all the men in the party. <laughs> and then uh, she says but old kingy Apparently she lives in the Palace of Mirrors. She like taps the side of her nose and just points randomly to Arya. We hint when we get there, not to try and walk into a mirror, right? <laughs> Do we hint? I, 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 I can't, can't promise anything. Yeah, I would recommend it, but okay, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah. I think Mazzy had dreams of being a paladin once as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, do, 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 do. Can we get to this palace? I mean, it's a place. Not mm. totally inaccessible. No, it's, we could probably walk there. She like scrunches up, like lifts up, like the muscles in her face, to, like expose her teeth a bit, as if she's like, uh, <laughs> maybe. Like, I mean. No offence, but you're quite skinny, and I'm not. I was cold, so you'll you'll snap. Mm. <laughs> I've got I a up. winter blanket. <laughs> I I had a winter blanket. I made my winter blanket, but mm. oof. And she shivers and grabs like her like you know her arms as if remembering the cold. She doesn't think I'm rid of the chill. And she shakes. And she's like, but what makes you think she'll help? Hmm. That's our next question. <laughs> How could we get her to persuade her to help? Well, we only need the red. Do you think that maybe the other dragons could help with that? Do we have to go through the white? Hmm. And she like walks round the table. And just like, just sits herself with the thud on her chair. And she's like, as if this is like a, a really heavy question. Mm. She's like, I mean, if you read the books on the dragons, the whites, you know, and she does the one hand over another hand. She's like, she's the, she's the head honcho. But, hmm. Hmm. The others are less trustworthy. Mm. Like, evil? Hmm. I'm not really fond of goods and evils. People have the capacity to do, you know, 
what they like and generally they do what they like so you can keep mm. your words but as for um, the white, some people could say she did us a great favour a mighty good by staying the hell out of uh, our business she looks kind of pleased you, at that fact she starts shaking your king her head. doesn't seem to think so you're not a fan that one nobody should praise dragons and she says that really slowly looking between crumbar and the uh, reach and i guess <laughs> i guess everybody else wearing the gold golden order armor as well she kind of slowly says that Whoops. and she's like but you know trying times demons and such you know and she just kind of like widens her eyes like Eesh. um and she looks at the table she's like the um the other dragons though they are a uh, Well, obviously it's not like I get a newspaper about them, but the blue has the most dealings with people that, that live. And she like, adds that wee extra part in. Um, what was that said, sorry? The what have most dealings? The blue. blue. The blue Deep has blue. most IBM. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, like, they... They have the most dealings with the uh, folks who tend to live, but they're changed after them experiences. Who is this blue? She's I've a, never heard of. She's a conniver, that one. A she kind of like I, dodge her head, I, like damn blue, you know. I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure she yeeted me through a tree. <laughs> if you got oh, back okay. up from that, son, then. You are made of tough dwarven stuff, and she laughs. <laughs> um, and then she says, "The red, never met the red, never want to meet the red. Nobody survives that normally. They say you catch fire if you go within a mile of them. Woo. That's why we need the red. We need the red to go down south and do what the red does. Can you shout a mile? Mm. A mile <laughs> out loud. Yeah, I think she like takes a couple of seconds of staring blankly, then just laughs like a really hard laugh. And she's like, "Ah, you're skinny, but you're quick." Um, kind of wipes away like a fake tear from her eye, and uh, she's like, "But y'all need to be quicker than that to avoid the red." Woof! Yeah. And she does like a big hand gesture as if she's like throwing stuff away. Um, do I have a picture of that one, do you? Yeah, she laughs. She's like, no. <laughs> like the ink wouldn't be dry. Yeah. Sounds like it. Mighty. I um, don't know anything about the black. Mysterious one, that one. Mm -hmm. Loads of rumours, but nothing, nothing that matters. And the green, much the same. Really? Hmm. Deals with the elves a lot, the green. Is it like common overworld knowledge that, you know, like, you know, classic... So is this Sean asking me now, or is this Bastiel asking yeah, her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, do we just know, being citizens of the world, what the dragon colours correspond to? In terms the of their behaviour. Chromatics, we do. Chromatics are. So, generally, any, chaotic, like, yeah. see, just you're a random person on the street, a dragon's a bad thing, right? Yeah. But, okay. see if you've got any education of any kind, right? That is, in some way, ever so slightly able to have picked up a book that could have been about dragons, then you'll uh -huh. know that the chromatics are, like, known as the five. And they are like the evil, they are the beginning of the evil dragons. It is, right. like, metallic ones, which are more normal and nice-ish, but yeah. Like, they, they come with their own different problems, but they're not generally out to destroy yeah. things instantly, like the Red Sea is. Um, yeah. But again, okay. fickle, and all live in a city unto themselves, really. As I said, the gold's the only one that seems to be of the people, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, things might have been different really? long ago, but that's that's a, t a tale for another time. Um, Would it be any way to teleport the Red down south to a specific location. <laughs> That's all we want. We just wanted to go there and wreak havoc. That's... Yeah, but it would wreak havoc on both sides. Yeah, but that's still a win. 
And she's like, uh, she's I like your definition of a win. So she's um, <laughs> she's looking between yeah, the two no, of you. Yeah, that's very Trump isn't it? She's looking between the two of you as you're saying this, and she's like, I mean, pray hard enough to Heimdall, he'll make a door, and you can boot the red through him. Yeah, you got a big enough shoe, and she starts laughing. I mm. just kind of look at her and go, like, trust me, I would love to give the uh, red a kicking. Mm, he's done your people wrong, hasn't he? She just kind of like shakes her head as if a great sadness has come over. Mm. I'm going to press this. You know of that? Orcs worshipping things they don't understand? Yeah, sadly, yes. Orcs up north too, you know. Just nods at you. I'll just repeat a like, follow on from that. It's like, do you know, have you heard any stories of a man in red robes? I think I bought my husband red robes once. <laughs> Which husband? <laughs> I mean, two of the seven, maybe? Yeah. Um, I'll say, well, no, this red robe man seemed to... Um, Definitely serve the engine of destruction. Mm. It's unusual that normally the engine doesn't necessarily have followers, just like a, a gesture with their fingers, like somebody's running. Mm. And I mean, people burn. So it makes like a, you know, a gesture with their hand as if something's burning. Yeah. So like pe people burn the red doesn't talk to people who burns things. You must have got that wrong. Maybe. But I'm still trying to find as much as I can about this person. Hmm. And she kinda um she looks like she was gonna say something and she stops herself. And then she says, "I don't know if, all right. I mean, it's, it's it's not particularly hidden. She's not exactly subtle, um, but like she then just says, the blue. You can tell, the blue likes herself. She likes followers. Lots of people follow her still. In fact, to today. She just kind of like mm. slowly nods her head. She like." points to the side of her eyes and she's like it's the eyes you can tell and she like again gestures as if they're getting brighter and she's like obviously mines don't do it but other people's go blue and she like nods emphatically like you know imagine my eyes going blue she well it was well her that you admit her a tree right I mean, I think you'd know if a dragon kicked you through a tree, son. <laughs> well, she looked like a human at the time. See, some of them can do that, you know, but like us. I just know it's to herself, just, mostly. Just kind of look at her and like, what do you mean a bit like us? Are you saying you're not a dwarf? Well, you said she looked like a human. I'm not a human, you're not a human. She looks around. None of you are human. What's that about? And I nod towards her candle, thinking about how she doesn't seem to have dark vision for a dwarf. And she looks up and she goes, Oh! Kind of points to her eyes again. These aren't so good. My, um grandparents and their grandparents, they, they lived on the surface. Mm. Fascinating. It's k kind of bloody rude if you ask me. Everybody else can see the dark perfectly fine and I'm here with these bad eyes. Everybody oh, keeps saying it's my age. You won't be saying that though, will you? <laughs> uh, I'll take out the drift globe and I'll say Alga to activate it. And I'll turn it on. And what does the, and what was the threat insulation again? And then you go back to my message. I. 
Just the word for I. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I think she'll just respond. Ah, it's my eyes. And <laughs> obviously the, the light comes on, and she like shields her eyes a bit from it. It's like, I never said it couldn't be blinding. <laughs> uh, I'll let it kind of hover around me for a bit, and then I'll grab it out of the air and hand it to her. Aye, uh, very fancy. She looks at it. And she like it. puts it like under the first layer of clothing she's got. <laughs> and she's looking at it. And then she brings it back out and she goes, Well, oh, my grandson would like this. You probably can <laughs> probably hide it from him. <laughs> so yours. I got these and I pug I kinda of like tap my goggles of night vision. So they're not just for reading. Nope. Hmm. Uh, uh, It'll follow you wherever you please. You'll never need to hold a candle again. And she looks at you suspiciously all of a sudden. What do you want? <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> nothing at all. I admire your work. I spent uh, one of the people. She looks around saying. at her desk looking for this work you have spoke of while you're saying that. Please <laughs> carry on. <laughs> Yeah, one of the people who saved me was a scholar himself, and he taught me to respect knowledge. Well, he obviously was a respect. smart man. I respect what you do here. That's all I need. That's, um, very kind of you. My pleasure. Oh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was. She's staring at the globe and she puts it back under her top. <laughs> and lifts it back out again. How does it go off? Or is this me now? Oh. You just say the word again. So she just so, says, you know, I. Yeah. So is it agua? Yeah. Which to me sounds like water. Like, agua feels very water <laughs> well, as a word. It's, it's alga, A-U-G-A. So kind of, yeah. I mean, I feel like the exact spelling is water in another language, but yeah. That's... Yeah, uh, Spanish. Mm -hmm. I think aqua, but yeah. And aqua too. And it's a dairy yeah. farming company. So if you want to sponsor this uh, YouTube <laughs> channel, feel free to. Um, with your Lithuanian headquarters. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Slightly different. So, yeah. uh, like layer of the letters, but same letters. Interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Agua. That's me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, anything else you want to ask her about, like her and the book and the dragons, and anything else? I guess while you've got her. Um. So. Hmm, do we have? She told us where it lives, but she didn't really tell us. We don't have a lead. We don't have a place to go to, right? Yeah, uh, north is what she said, right? So, like, yeah. I guess you could assume it's still the frozen north, right? Mm. Um. Not something, probably not too like, hard to figure out. Why don't you just press her for more information if you don't think she's been specific enough? I mean, <laughs> you ask these questions out loud, but not of the people in front of you. She talks like a sphinx in <laughs> riddles. Uh, now, uh, now, don't you better? She's just a bit of an see, old woman, how dare you? <laughs> uh, you see, we are pressed for time, and we can't be, uh, we can't be wandering around too much with uh, the demons coming for us all. Uh, you couldn't be more specific with the White's location, could you? In fact, wait a minute. And she, like, tries to balance the drift globe on the, the desk, but it rolls a bit, and she's trying to, like, make it stop. And she just puts <laughs> parchment on either side of it to kind of stop it. And then uh, she's like, do you know something? This arrived this morning. And she, like, licks her lip. Uh, like licks our um, fingertip and like opens a drawer and like shuffles through stuff and then pulls out a piece of parchment on it and goes, in fact, yeah, right here it says exactly where she's living and she's asked me how am I doing and how are the husbands who are still alive doing and she just stares at you deadpan. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you keep down here? Referring to the books. She looks down for a second at herself and then looks up and goes, How dare you? <laughs> um, 
She puts the blank piece of parchment she was holding and pretending to read from on the, uh, the desk, shuts the drawer. She's like, um, kind of stands up and leans over the desk and points down at like the massive, just dark kind of corridor, like lit with all the candles every so often, full of books. Goes, a uh, couple of books. I kind of like gesture towards the sky and wave my hand across and say, "You got anything on fire elementals?" Um, if I did. It'd probably burn. So you don't want to keep things in the fire elements. <laughs> God damn it. But you're talking about some very interesting subjects there. Mr. and she like clanks off you twice with her little knuckles off her chest plate. Master Brewblade was a very interesting man. I mean, not really. He never bought me flowers. But that's a tale <laughs> for another time. I am... Uh, However, I just gawk. And she just stares at you, like, suspiciously. And then, uh, she's like, Elementals and the like aren't really a open subject around here. She kind of taps out of her nose again. Hmm. Why is that? Aren't you full of curious questions? I'm a curious man. Look at me. And I tap my chest. And it's like a hollow uh -huh, clank. The, the clank, clank. <laughs> yeah. I think she just clanks. She like to make the same tune again, like the same double tap thing. And uh, yeah. and she says, "Hi, you are that." But people have burned, you know, with fire mm. for looking into what you are talking about. Wow. Not recently right enough, but like in the old older times, like when people were a bit more you know, superstitious. Not oh, the stake. Hmm. I guess I'll kind of just meditate on what she said about evil in the bigger picture. And mm -hmm. I kind of mentally make that link, but I won't say anything out loud. Mm -hmm. um, I think I also think back to the fact that uh, all the stuff you'd learned from the like you were reading through the book on the guy that finished a book because his mate was like killed potentially um, yeah right uh, oh, so the book right. Be finished. can I name drop him I never got a name from that because I wrote most of the stuff can I, can I drop was there name? a name given because I don't know if I actually gave a name for that I? I think I only got the name of his mate let me check my notes yeah because I feel like if that had happened I would have wrote that down, so let me see my notes. Uh, it? No, it just says Dwarven Goddess of Death, Ella. It's the only name I've got, it looks like. Well, Hella. Yeah. H Ella. H Ella. H yeah. Ella's the Goddess of Jasmine. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's H E L. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hella. I, I, I know that from Norse mythology, I just yep. didn't make that link. <laughs> yep. yep. Well, damn it. It's because of the really convincing Norse accent I gave these dwarfs, that's why that's why you don't make the link. Um, let's see. Best accent ever. Thank you. <laughs> Can you imagine if I'd done this entire conversation with her in that accent? God, it'd be awful. Um, I think I would have died of laughter by the, now. I wrote the name of the book, it was called The Crucible. Yeah. Yes. That was, that was cool. Um, I no, do not have cool. a name for the author. Um... I can get you a name if you really want one. Uh, let's well, see. yeah, I just want to name drop it. Yeah, no, I think that's it's, it's valid. Let's get your name. Let's get your name. Uh, What's everyone else thinking in the meanwhile? What does everyone else want to ask her? Karimba? Yeah, I'm what, maybe trying to think if I should know anything about... I no, see. but without any more about the uh, crap, but... Mm. Nah, yeah. I don't think she will. Well, you could ask her about the vampire. There you go. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone that we kind of asked her about, she's kind of just said, uh, well, probably going to need an ancient LV person. I mean, mm. just think about this way, right? You're thinking as Scott out loud. If you think as Crumber out loud, do the other actual characters, maybe they will then have <laughs> ideas. That's true, we don't have anything uh, to live by, like, asking her everything we think of. Like, I mean, yeah. the schedule's the one you've dictated, right? 
I mean, like yeah. you go down south and it's all infested by demons either way. So I mean, let's face it, we're. Uh... Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So Crumbar shall just kind of be like scratching his Crumbar chin and shit, um, and just be like, um. So you weren't able to translate in from the stone, but is there anything you know of? Did we actually come up for a name that we were calling them that wasn't vampires? No. Because no. that's the very plural way of stating that. Um, so that was um, who did all the work for the book, the second name. And that was his mate that got it all put together and published for him. The first name. Does that make what sense? Books, what book's this, sorry? Talking to Bastiel. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Um... I would just say it's like have you heard about any sort of rituals where people are reanimated? I should have known about some from a from a husband, but I... no, not to not to my knowledge. There's probably a book on it some somewhere, but I mean things are meant to die. So yeah. I just picked shrug, um, shrugs at that. Um, who is all round the table just now? Everybody but Kitty, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. Where is, where is Kitty? I think last we know, she rolled something on her stealth. She rolled a 27 on her no, stealth. I'd, I think I just walked back to the group. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was like, what the fuck was that, Crumbar? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing, you weirdo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, uh, if Kitty, if Kitty is, ah, I will just turn to her and be like, "Could I speak to you a moment?" Maybe. And like she leans over to you, reach like um, Dondrabella, and she's like, "See, tension." She winks at you. <laughs> I just eye roll. <laughs> they scream, but it's fine. It's like uh, this kind of. So you, at... you just walk off to the side, I guess, together, and we have a scene with you two. I was just gonna say, like, I kind of look at the rest of the group and just be like, um, in private, and then just kind of like, you know, gesture my head off to the side. Yeah. E. Progress. Um. So I'll just be like. What? Abide my, apart from my stubbornness, why would you not want to show this book to uh, the librarian? Because it's many pages ripped out of many other books that are not exactly... Um, well, I believe me, I, I know the authors of them books, not personally, but they are wanted criminals that have been locked away some of them um that they're, they're not mm, good people and they've written books that i have pages of and i have a feeling they'd be confiscated mm. and I you know i might get them in trouble so i see your worry there um Perhaps maybe we, if we can convince this lady to come along with us, we can. You could maybe show her the pages when there's less, and I just kind of look around like less of a threat of losing them around. Maybe, but not today. No problem. Let's head back to the group. Okay. And then we just could be like stumpy, so, stumpy, stump. While they're away. What we see from mm. our point of view is um Don Dabella kinda of standing just staring at the two of them who are like off in the distance against some book racks obviously. And as they're like side by side talking to each other, like talking, she's like I wanted just to say that I'm in love with you and I always have been. Oh my god, you finally admitted your feelings and she's like m like making mouth puppets <laughs> with her hands. <laughs> It's like what you do when you're people watching and you make mm -hmm. up stories with people. Yep. <laughs> Muppet show. Uh, 
And then she's like, you know, finally we could be together. Mm. Oh, they're coming back. And she puts her hands <laughs> under the desk. Keepers of the Golden Gate abridged. Yeah. <laughs> but that's literally what Don Bella does. <laughs> and then you just come back to the group. Um, she's just smiling at you. And I'm just like a I'm proud just grandmother. <laughs> um has anyone actually spoke to her yet about coming with us? No. Alright then I'm like Well as we will be heading northward to try and meet with the white, we're wondering if you would care to join us. Another way to say that is as we're heading northwards to a certain death, <laughs> we'd really like to kind of tag along. <laughs> have we had enough much. of living on this plane of existence? <laughs> Boy, do we have the misadventure for you. Have you <laughs> wanted to die in the form of a dragon soup? Then by all means, come with <laughs> Turned us. Turned into a cheap can of booze, rolls down the hill. Oh, um, fuck. But yes, I was more meaning to be I turned don't... into soup by a dragon, but... Shall I... You're obviously after my fiance, eh? And she just laughs at you. I'm just like, your fiance? Aye. Husband number Who's eight, your... if he plays his cards right. I just kind of look around the room. I'm like, who's your fiance? He's not here right now. Obviously, he's watching, or supposed to be watching, my grandson. I, I just kind of shudder when she mentions grand, grandson. Aye, you remember like, the one. Yeah, sorry about that. It didn't bug me. Seemed to scare you though. Probably more than him. I just kind of shrug that off and like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. No need for anyway. No need for pride here. There's plenty in the pages. Um. Anyway, do you accept our offer? It would be great to have you come along. I mean, the offer was, do I want to leave my cushy job here and go off into a cold mountain? Just temporarily. She kind of just sits down and she's like, but, but why? Why would I? <laughs> Adventure? Knowledge. For a fantastic adventure where you can learn more, so the two of you combined it in one. <laughs> she like she clasps her hands and rests them on her stomach and she leans back and she just like hails like a <sighs> and it goes on for a bit. And she's like <sighs> <laughs> and she starts blowing raspberries. And she's like Well I've considered it. And uh, we'll take our break there. Mm. And we'll come you, back in <laughs> you, Ryan, sir, are a penis of the most biodegradable kind. Uh, yes, that's me. Uh, um, so, yeah, say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.